Good evening, YouTube. I uh, wanted to show this uh, Kronos XTR. I'm very excited about it. I uh, so I figured I'd throw a video up. I uh, wanted to show what was in it and what I did to it. I haven't run it yet. Um, so uh, let's take a look. Uh, first, I'll start with the body. It's awesome. I didn't throw the Chrono stickers on it. Um, I have a Traxxas sticker and an XDR because obviously XDR. I got that off. I can't remember where I got that. Red Cat because um, all of these have parts in here that contribute to this car. So, and as everybody knows, this is the Team Corelli Chronos uh, XTR roller body with no electronics you put your own electronics in it which would be your excuse me remote receiver um, motor ESC and uh, servo and of course batteries but uh, yeah so and I love this wing I want to point that out too love this one also on the other side of this we have Red Cat four wheel drive XTR, and of course, it's a 6S machine. Yes. So, that being said, this body is lighter than Arma, an Arma 1 8 scale, like a Creighton or something, and that's what I would best compare this Chronos to. It's probably the Creighton from Arma. And uh, so, yeah, um, one thing I didn't mention in my unboxing video, and you can check out for the rest later, is that this top plate right here is metal. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, let's take a look here. Hopefully that will work. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, I'll do my best here. Um, so yeah, there's a screw there, a screw underneath the post, a screw there, and one there. I'm uh, sorry, one up there. So one here, here, and here. If you look underneath there, if you can see that right there. So one, two, three, four, five. Now that's all you need to go into. Now this is the Kronos V1, and this is pretty much what's on all of the uh, other Team Corelli ready to run cars, and that is the plastic top plate, not metal. And the pins are held in by what the boxes that are connected to the top plate itself. So there's nothing; it's just held in in place and. They have popped out on me. The Punisher I took out the other day, and it was 6S. It hit hard, but um, it actually had the upgrade of the uh, metal that keeps it goes right there, and it keeps this in, it keeps that pin in place. It also keeps this pin in place, and it's connected across the top, which is a little bit similar to what's over here, but not quite. And uh, again, the pins just sit inside the plastic top plate, though. But it has that metal brace, and because of that, one popped out and it caused the other one to pop out because it was connected it's just a piece that comes right off right there so uh, that happened so what I'm trying to point out is that this is a very major upgrade and if you take another look at this the the way the hinge pins are they're actually the pins are threaded so they don't just sit into anything and they it's a bar if you look at all this gray here and it says uh, Corali under there it's a bar that runs underneath instead of over the top and instead of the boxes being connected where the pins just sit inside to the top plate there, it, the, the bar is what is, and it's got uh, lock nuts. And like I said, that is a major upgrade for this car. I have broken it so many times, as you can see on this one. Um, I run a 15T in this, and, uh, that's a, and it comes with the stock and everything. But as you can see up there, uh, the, the, uh, there's no screws because I've busted all this before and I gotta get a new uh, but it runs fine right it's been running fine it hasn't given me any problems with no screws up top there um, um, actually there's one right there but it actually popped out as you can see but uh, yeah it's been giving me no problems and uh, these links always break on the V1 um, for me the Kronos not the Shogun I never had a problem it's got the same things um, and that's one thing I was looking at on this, but you can look at my other videos for that. But real quickly, I'll touch on the fact that these have the same, and it makes me wonder, are they going to bend? Don't know, maybe it's better material, who knows. So, anyways, point is, is that uh, I'm wondering if you can upgrade this. 
I'm wondering if you can upgrade this to um, the metal top plate, you know? Um, so that would be pretty decent because that is a, a major upgrade for these cars, okay? Now, what I'm running in this thing, and I'm very excited to tell you because, and that's why I'm making this, this video, like I said, we're going to throw it up because I am just uh, excited for my subscribers and anybody who might want to know, okay? Now, I run Traxxas connector batteries. That's just what I've ended up with being in the hobby, and I need to change out my couple of my 4S's. Uh, they're Dean's, uh, 4500, I think they're UMEs or something. And uh, change out those for uh, the uh, Traxxas connectors. Now, this was the first time I ever soldered anything. Um, I think it came out all right. I mean, it works. Um, definitely not too, too bad, I don't think. Um, works really well. And uh, so at first, yeah, I even burnt myself. First time. And uh, finally got it. And I was, that's pretty exciting right there for me. But anyways, moving on. I planted the uh, switch right there, and I had to run a longer ESC wire to run through. I don't know if you can follow that light, or I'll just use my finger. This ESC wire and this stuff here is uh, zip tied up right there, and then it runs through here underneath the, the uh, front dog bone, front center dog, dog bone, into the receiver. Now, speaking of the receiver, it is a receiver remote uh, Dumbo RC. You can see that. Um, if you look up in here, um, not exactly excited to show you this. Most people know it, but if you want to take a look, it's just a basic stuff. But the remote itself is very good. Uh, I'm very happy. It's a six channel version, so um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, so, moving on, that's the remote. And then I threw in the Max 6 uh, ESC with the combo of the 1650 KV. And uh, to be honest, that's about the biggest motor you could put in this without having to reconstruct the chassis. Um, I had to dremel it down a little on the screws over here and uh, was able to get it down enough and it works. And it still was a little little touchy, but uh, it worked. And I'm running the stock 13 tooth pinion, the stock 52 spur. I do have some 46 Corelli spurs. Um, like the, I believe the Raditz comes with that stock. I know the V1 over here comes with it stock. It's a 46 spur, 13 tooth, and the Shogun as well has a 46 spur. Um, so, moving on. Um, so I put the Traxxas connectors on. We got the ESC, we got the motor, and then we have the remote and everything. And then the last but not least is the Red Cat, which is why I have that on there. We got the Traxxas connectors. We got the Red Cat. Uh, servo and I'm a big fan of Red Cat um, because this is a high quality servo I put them in a lot of cars and I can honestly say I've hadn't had any problems they're about 20 bucks a piece I think it's a 25 kilogram is it something like that I might have to take a look if you look at my other videos you can find out too um, it's a 25 kilogram servo I believe I'm pretty sure almost positive 98 percent sure and uh, I will uh, actually start her up so you guys can see it and uh, show you the servo. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. Actually, let me set you over here. Oh, whoops, my bad. Need to turn on the remote first. So there's the remote turned on. See. beeps 4s we have two 2s two batteries 50c 5200ma vant batteries right? Michael batteries so what we're going to do is show you this particular servo now, as you can see I just barely touch it no problems moving whatsoever now, much better than the stock servo that comes in these um, like I said, they're like 20 bucks. Can't go wrong. And uh, like I said, I've also never, I've never had any problems. So again, I can't turn it all the way. I haven't set the endpoints yet. But uh, yeah. So, I mean, and it turns on the towel. It turns on the carpet. There's no issues. It's very responsive. Very happy with that. 
So again, that's why the stickers are on there. So that's